Hi, Eva Generation. I'm JJ, this is Ronnie. We're going to do one of the workouts from our Steel Mace Coach Qualification. Let's get into it. So you're going to need a mace. We start off with a movement which we call the tricep stretch. So taking with your, you can mirror us if you want. So we're using the left, you're probably using the right. Take the mace safely back behind your head. From this position, you're going to get a nice stretch from the tricep all the way down to your shoulder. You want to keep your elbow in line with your shoulder and feel that deep stretch as you go. Just be mindful to keep your rib cage in a good position so you're not flaring. And in the mace at the back, it'll be touching the hip around the middle back and also probably your head depending on the length of your mace. Just gonna keep it here for about 10 more seconds. Now as we release the mace, you're gonna take your trailing hand, you're going to bring it back and slightly allow it back to the floor. Taking with that hand, we're gonna go over on the other side. Now something that you might want to do is just gently throttle the mace by moving the wrist and that will increase the stretch. So you can just gently do that to feel that deep stretch. Continue to keep those, your, uh, uh, sorry, continue to keep your rib cage closed. And then gently throttling feeling that nice stretch into your tricep. So this is going to help us prepare us for the workout ahead. Got about 10 more seconds. Now we always want to take the trailing hand to bring the mace safely back out, gently down to the floor. Now taking it back up like we did before, we're going to move into tricep extension. So from here, we're going to just drive the mace up until we fully extend at the elbow. So you're just pushing up, feeling your tricep engage, and let the hand come all the way back for a deep stretch in behind the head, driving up, slowly back down. We do one more rep before we change. Now let it drop down, take the mace out safely and come around to the other side. Extend, feeling those tricep engage and continue to keep your rib cage in a good position. So we keep the upper body integrity. Always breathe. Few more reps. Okay, last one. And then slowly dropping down. Okay. So now we start again on the left side. And you're right, taking the mace and we're going to swing it up, catch, and swing it back. Okay. Swing it up and catch. All right. Now when you feel comfortable here, we're going to toss it over to the other side, toss. Okay, so we're gonna alternate back and forth, toss across. If you're not comfortable with the toss, you can just hand it off and go to the other side. But for this movement, the goal is to build the confidence so we can get that hand toss. We call this hand-to-hand -hand toss. And then it's a swing and catch. Pass it over, swing and catch. Continue. Very nice. Keep moving. Swing it over. Perfect. Keep going. Right, new move coming up. So this time we're going to bring the mace into this position here. We're going to switch the hands and switch the hands back. Good. Switch the hands and switch the hands back. We call this hand switch. 
So continue watching Ronnie. And if you're new, you're looking at coming to prayer, switch the hand, prayer, switch the hand. And as you feel comfortable, you just get that quick exchange from side to side. This is a good way to warm up the biceps, the forearms. We just did our triceps with that tricep extension. Keep moving. Let's continue. A few more reps. Excellent. Okay, new move coming up, lever press. So bring your hands over, curl it, drive up overhead, and slowly back to your chest. Drive it up. So some of these moves are a minute long, and some of them are 30 seconds. Continue. Keep going. Last one, switch sides, bring it down. Okay, we're gonna switch it over. Good, drive it up and back down. Continue to breathe. Remember all the way to your chest, extend the arms as it goes up overhead. Beautiful. Drive it up. Good, last one, up, and slowly bringing it back. And here now we're going to go switch and then into a deep squat. So as we switch, we squat down, bringing the hips back and down. Very good. Remember this is part of the fitness exam. Drive your hips back, keep your Spine nice and long. Breathe as you go. 30 seconds. Very good. Keep moving now. How are we doing, Ronnie? Good? <laughs> Keep moving. Almost there. Get nice and deep. All right, take a breather, shake your arms. Next move we're gonna do is Grave Digger. So separate the feet, one steps back. Now you're gonna take the mace and we're going to image like we're digging, driving up overhead, hinge, and come back down. Drive up, straighten the arms as we come up overhead. So full extension with those arms. Now you can just, <clears throat> you can continue driving those hips. We're gonna switch sides, so bringing it down, switch the feet, and drive up overhead. Back down. Now you can decide to keep the foot flat on the ground, or lifting the, the foot, coming to your heel, either way. If you find that your hamstrings are tight, you'll probably find keeping your, your foot down is easier, but it really depends on you. Okay, and finish. Bring it back in. Now we go, hand switch, forward lunge. So step forward, switch the hands, alternate sides, very good. Drive in. Now the goal here, as the mace drops, we want to come almost to the ground. And what that's going to do is create that offset load. And it's really going to fire up the glutes. Nice work. 30 more seconds. Now we don't need to go too fast. We always want to have good foot placement, nice body alignment. Use your front leg to drive back 
into that standing position. Breathe. Keep good control over the mace as we switch from side to side. All right, bring it back down, shake it out. Okay, now we have rebel press. So let's start with our left hand. We're going to have it mace head facing in. We're gonna screw up, driving up overhead, slowly back down. Breathe as you go. So you're looking for that screwing action on the shoulder joint, driving up overhead, and slowly back down. Keep moving. Okay, one more, then we'll switch sides. All right, now let's bring it back over onto the other side. Okay, we're gonna drive up overhead, rotating as we go. Good. I'll be careful here, I don't hit Ronnie. So if you're working out with somebody, you want to be really mindful of the distance so that at no time that you'll make it dangerous for the other person. Keep moving as you flow. Drive it up and back down. Last one, driving up, slowly back. Now we're moving into another movement with lunge. It's the reverse lunge. So you're gonna step back Knee almost to ground, switch the hand, step back on the other side. Good. Now keeping your arm extending at the bicep is going to give you a little bit of bicep work as well. But the main focus here is the quads, the glutes, the adductors, all in the quad region, or the thigh region rather. Keep moving, you're doing great. We're about halfway. Breathe. Switch those hands. Back knee as close as you can to the ground. Always coming up on the ball of the foot at the back. Nice work. Keep moving. Good, last one, and relax. All right, this time, take the mace with one hand, come back behind the head. I'll show from the back. I'm gonna grab the other hand under. We're gonna move the mace just outside the hips. Little rotation in the upper body, and then allow that pendulum action. Keep moving. Okay, we're gonna switch hands really soon. So, slowing down, release the bottom hand, take the mace, drop it out. We're gonna bring it up on the other side. The other, your free hand comes to the bottom and then just let the mace travel from side to side. Keep moving team, doing great, excellent. So continue to breathe, keep moving the body, keep moving that mace. So making sure you have nice control your target is four o'clock and eight o'clock. Keep going. A few more reps, slowing down. Right, take the trailing hand, gently drop it. Take it back. Now, Ronnie is gonna be stepping back slightly and we're going to go to one side. So let's drop the leg out, bring the mace to here, and then we switch it. We step to the other side. So we switch across and then switch across, good. So the mace drops to the leg that's extended. The other leg, as we step, we want to drive our hip back in town and then maintain long spine. How are we doing? Looks good? Keep going. <clears throat> All the way now. Very good. <clears throat> I hope we're in frame, keep moving, last few reps here, and release, and bring it back. Okay, let's start, the next movement is called the slider, so take it in one hand, we're going to bring it up behind the head, we're going to allow the mace to slide back, we're going to rotate 
and then bend over, sliding the mace, coming back to the starting position. Allow that hand to slide down, elbow in line with the shoulder, turn. Now lean into it, roll out, and back. One more time, drop it back, rotate, and slide. Good. And gently let it slide down. Take empty hand, release it, bring it around on the other side. Now from this angle, now we rotate. Here we're going to slide, bring it back around, and drop it back down. Good. Roll around, drive it, and back around. Very nice. Keep moving. Woo. Excellent. Last one. Okay, we drop it around and now we're going to slowly let it out. So bring it hand behind, let it drop out. Okay, we got the switch squat. So we're going to switch the hands, squat down again. So we've done this already. Let's do it again. Drop your hips back and down, spine nice and long. Keep moving that mace. So this is good for coordination. But what's really cool is the offset load, loading into one side of the body, which should be firing up that glute as it lands. Keep going, doing great. Breathe. Very nice. A few more seconds here. Almost. Last two, last one, and bring it back. All right, shake it out. Okay, now we bring the mace to a vertical position. We're gonna choke up on the mace, drop it behind the head, pull back in front. I'll do it from the side. Again, here we wanna be mindful of opening up the rib cage. You want a deep stretch. As you go back, elbows in line with the shoulders. Excellent. All right, bring it to the front. Switch the hands. Okay. Once you've got it solid, let it back and pull it to the front again. Very good. Your target at the front is around the belly button. Beautiful. Keep moving. Breathe as you go. Isn't it great what MACE does for a full body integration? All those muscles getting targeted so we can hit the lower body, upper body, the core. Last one, bring it down. Excellent. Woo. Now we're back to forward lunge. So we keep the MACE here. We're going to step out, drop it down, step back, switch it, other side. Very nice. Doing great, team. <clears throat> Good work. Now, if any time that you need a break, you pause the video, take a quick drink of water, and get back into it right away. Excellent, keep moving. Now, when this program gets easy, this will be like your warm up. But this is something that you can do regularly, maybe one time a week. This whole program is about 28 minutes. You could also do two rounds to bring you up to a good one hour workout. Last rep. Very good. Okay, we're gonna go one arm pendulum. So bring it back behind the head, just like with the two arms. Now you're just going to let the mace swing side to side, just outside the hip. Continue. All right. Just let that mace stretch your arm. Feel that work in your tricep and then some in your core as well. Take your trailing hand, slow the mace down, release the mace out. Bring it around on the other side, and here we go again. When you're ready, 
to start to rotate slightly in the upper body and you'll feel the mace moving from side to side. Very good, keep going. Breathe. Doing fantastic now. Keep moving that mace. Take your trailing hand, slow the mace down, and slowly drop it out. Okay, we're back into a hand switch with reverse lunge. So first we're gonna step back, drop the mace down, switch the leg as you're switching the hands. Whew, nice. Definitely feeling the glutes firing up, getting that work. Keep moving now. Excellent. Keep breathing. Good work. You can breathe as loud as you want. I like to exhale as much as possible so I can inhale as much as possible. Get that benefit of deep exhalation, inhalation. Keep moving now. Almost. One more. Woo, okay. All right, let's bring that mace into a position where you're just here over the shoulder. Take your hands, gonna drive up overhead. This is called the red neck press. Now to make it easier, you would bring one hand closer to the mace head. And then to make it harder, you bring it much closer to the handle. This makes it way more challenging. Two more. Switch it over. So gently drop it over to the other side. At the same time, switch your hand from here. Push up, drop down. Now you take your option. All you need to do is slide the hand closer to the head to make it easier or closer to the hand that's at the end of the handle. Make it more challenging. Keep going. Keep pushing. Doing great. Breathe as you go. Slowing down, gently drop it back. Now we're going for a hand switch lateral lunge, okay? So as I step out, I'm in this position. As I step back in, I'm here, good. Drop over, boom, definitely feeling those glutes kicking in. Love this exercise. Now drive your hips back and down while maintaining a nice long spine. You want good foot placement here. This is gonna strengthen all the muscles around the hip. Work on your adductors, those inner thigh muscles that help stabilize the knee and the hip. Keep moving. Good work, keep going. Last one, last one here. All right, bring it down. Okay, let's choke up again on the handle around midway, and we're going to rotate around the head. So we bring the hands in one direction, rotating. So your hands drive back to the ear level, around the head to the opposite ear. And then the target at the front is around the belly button. Keep going, last two, last one. Okay, switch the hands. We're going back in the other direction. Back we go. Breathe. Very good. So keep that nice, consistent movement. Steel, mace, Halo to help open up the shoulders, develop good stability, mobility, and a little bit of core as well. Last rep, bring it back down. All right, now we're going to go squat figure eight. 
So we're going to squat down, swing the mace back, slide it through the legs, bring it up on the other side. As you squat, you're going to quickly swing it under. Just be careful you don't swing too much so you hit yourself in the chin or worse, more in the teeth. We don't want that to happen. Swing it through, catch it, and swing it through. Very nice. Keep going. Last one. Okay, change direction. Back in the opposite direction. Good. You take it from front to back. Very nice. <clears throat> Keep going all the way. Get into that deep squat. Let that mace travel between your legs. Keeping those figure eights. So we need hand-eye coordination. We need good mobility to get deep enough. Last rep. All right, take it to the front, shake it out. So that's the workout. Now we're gonna do a couple of quick stretches. You can take the mace on one side. Actually, let's mirror. So we're gonna have on this side here. And then from this position, we're gonna step back, drop down into a deep stretch, and keep the mace here to help us balance, reaching up. Stretch out those hip flexors. Now reach to the side a little. You can keep pulling down in the mace. So you release. So you're gonna bring the knee up, step in, switch the mace to the other side. Gently step back, slowly drop down and then raise your hand up. Nice deep stretch. And then a little bit of a coiling core to help us stretch on one side. Slowly drop it back down. Okay, we're gonna bring that mace out in front of us this time. And holding the mace, we're going to drop into a deep squat. And then you just find where you wanna hold it. If you want, you can pull down a little bit on the mace and that helps us to get some nice hip mobility. You can move around in this position if you want. <clears throat> some days you might feel tighter than others. Those are the days you need to do some mobility work for your hips. All right, slowly come up. Okay, we're gonna bring the mace behind the back. Both hands as close as possible. Okay, and you're gonna roll your shoulders back and then you're gonna pull against the mace and help to open up your chest muscles. Very nice. And slowly dropping the mace back to the floor. Okay, we're gonna start where, we, we're gonna finish where we started. Take the mace, bring it back over your head. We're gonna stretch the tricep. <clears throat> Deep stretch into those triceps. Did a lot of work today and we need to make sure we get a nice stretch. Okay, you can take the trailing hand, slowly let it out, <clears throat> over onto the other side. So we always want to enter and exit this movement in a very safe way, so we don't put any stress on the elbow or on the shoulder. Just breathe. Okay, take your trailing hand, slowly let it back out. Great. So thank you for joining us today. And thanks very much to Ronnie. Great workout. I'm JJ. And to all IFA generation, keep training hard. Keep working with that mace. And if you are looking to purchase a mace, we do have them available in our Tokopedia. So you can search on Tokopedia for IFA steel mace. And we have a great offer at the moment so please uh, take a look otherwise we'll see you soon with another workout take care thank you, thank you.